Ryan. Hello, YouTubers. This is Road Trek Ralph. Got me and my Uncle Chael right here. We're going to the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. We're over here on China Airlines. Uh huh. It's the first time my uncle's been there. I've been there a few times. We're going to go see my dad out there. We're going to go see the Philippines. We're going to go visit the PI. All right. Stay tuned. Don't change that channel. All right. This is Road Trek Ralph right here in Taiwan. Chael, say hi. All right, got my Uncle Chael right there. So one thing I just learned in Taiwan, they don't call it a six pack of beer. They call it a set. There it is right there, where is it? So I had to buy a set of beer. <laughs> I had to buy the beer just so I could get some some Taiwan money so I could buy a Coke. Hey, it's all right, five bucks for a six pack. I'm okay with that. All right, join us on my journey to the Philippines. All right, thank you for joining us on our journey. Me and my Uncle Chael right there, I'm going to the Philippines. All right, you know, so, you know, between my uncle and I, we've been to, oh my goodness, we've been to a lot of places, okay? I, I couldn't even begin to to list the number of places around the world that we've traveled. Uh, you know, I'm not, you know, this is, I'm not gonna go there. Anyway, what I do wanna say is there's a movie out there called the curious cage of the curious case of Benjamin Button, and in that movie he mentions, you know, you meet some of the most interesting people in the world in the middle of the night, in the middle of a hotel lobby. Okay, and I think y'all know if if you've seen that movie, what what I'm talking about in that that particular scene. Well, you know, we we're here in the middle of an airport. In the middle of the night, it's probably 2 a.m. right now. Our connecting flight isn't until 7. We've been here since midnight. But, you know, we've met some interesting people. There's a, a two guys we met earlier. They're going to the Philippines as well. We lost them somehow. I think they're at the wrong gate. Hopefully they find their way back over here. But, you know, we're just here. Here it is right here. This is what brings people together. Cold beverage. In the middle of of an airport in the middle of the night and on the other side of the planet. I mean, hello. <laughs> hello. All right. Anyway, just wanted to share that with y'all. Hope y'all are having a good time. There's my Uncle Chael. He's on the phone right now. He's met some interesting people too. Right, right, Dil Chael? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Just uh, enjoy, enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. All right, we just landed. And we're in the Philippines. Manila. The thriller in Manila. All right, we're in the Philippines. Deal chair. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for a... All right, we're looking for a money exchange. Of course, we got to get some money exchange. Here we are in Alangapo City. So you can see right there. Alangapo City. All right, good morning. I'm waking up for the first time in the Philippines in a very long time. Good morning, Arnold. How are you doing, Arnold? Doing all right? Yeah, all right. All right. Well, this is a delicious meal right here. Look at this delicious breakfast. You should have seen what we ate last night, first of all. Last night, oh my goodness. But look at this morning. That's what I call a delicious meal. All right, it's time to get, it's chow time. These are my Oh, wow, look at that. All right, we're out here. We can't do a Filipino tour without stopping at the nearest, you know, the uh, the nearest market for fresh fish. Look at that delicious food right there. It looks like a catfish. Catfish, yeah. All right, Theo, what do you think about this, uh, the the grocery uh, or the fresh food we got here? I'm telling you, to, <laughs> look at this squid right here. Yeah. Look at this squid. Man. Oh yeah, let's get a let's get some squid please. You know how the people eat those little fish right 
they just uh, put some lemon on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, and ginger, and that's it. They don't cook it. Wow. They eat fresh. That looks good. Do they eat it without the flies all right? Without <laughs> okay, without the all right, that's delicious. All right. So we're in the we're in the fruits and vegetables portion of this this market out here in San Marcelino. That right there? This one. I don't know, but bamboo. Bamboo? Wow, that looks good. That looks good. That's bamboo. Baby bamboo. I, I don't know you could eat bamboo like that. Oh wow, okay. So what do you think, Theo? Looks I'm really happy to eat this. All right, this is day two right here. We've got another feast in front of us right here. All this good, these good items. Dad, hello, Dad. It's good to see you. Oh. <laughs> Say hi to everybody in San Antonio. Hello. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Look at that. Man, you talk about some eating. That looks delicious. Yeah, I don't know whether to eat it or take a picture of it. <laughs> All right, here we are. Just a. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Relaxing out here in front of the house. The house right here. Drinking some cold San Miguel apple. The last time I ever drank a beer in the Philippines was in 1989. This is my first time having a beer in the Philippines since 1989. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, day three still of the Filipino adventure. Me and my Uncle Chael, we're out here. So this, where we're at right now, this used to be in high school called George Dewey High School. A long time ago, this was George Dewey High School. Well, now it's called the Manila Times College. And uh, that was the gym right there. That used to be the gym. That used to be the cafeteria right there. Uh, back there where it's overgrown, that used to be a track. That's where we, we used to run track, right back there. Yeah, totally different, totally different. Nothing's the same really, but you do have some of the same buildings out here. Yeah, I remember walking down these hallways right here. Yeah, getting to class, gotta go to school, gotta get, gotta get that school. Yeah, this is it. The old George Dewey High School. So the buses used to drop us off right here. You know, we lived in the San Miguel Naval Communication Station. And uh, right now we're in the old Subic Bay. And uh, it would be a 45 minute bus, bus ride to and from school every day. All right, thanks for joining us on this adventure. We're gonna have some more fun in the Philippines. All right, bye. All right, so still day three right here, somewhere in Subic. Somewhere in Subic. Thought we'd get a little ice cream right here. There's an ice cream shop. There's a Subic right here. All right. Time for some ice cream.
We're going to San Antonio Zambales. No, no, it was another boat. All right, we're about to get on this banca boat here in uh, Bundaket, Zambales. All right, we just got off the banca boat. <laughs> what do you think, Theo? Your first ride on a banca boat. Weird science, man. That's what I call it. Okay, so this is the backyard of my, my dad's house. My dad's house is on the other side of that car over there. And he was telling me, he said, Ralphie, you wanna drink a beer? The perfect spot, just follow the path back here. So I was following this path. It's the perfect spot to drink beer, relax. Follow this path. Look at this oasis back here. Wow. Got a bamboo Nipah hut up here. Look at this oasis. Look at this table. This table was poured around this tree. There's no seam lines or anything. This thing was concrete poured around this big mango tree, I believe it is. Man, look at this place. This is a beautiful oasis right here. Yeah, look at that. Wow, I tell you. All right, one of the benefits of having a coconut tree next to a building is you could stand on the building to get coconut. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. All right, Ocean's getting ready for school. Sophia's already ready, waiting for Ocean. And Uncle Ralphie's gonna take him to school today. <laughs> I'm gonna take you out of school. I'm gonna take the car. Or do you want me to drive the trike? You want me to drive the trike? <laughs> we'll go to the car. <laughs> All right, we're out here in the market, and here's a delicacy well, that's right one. here. Yeah, this is uh, this delicious. Oh, that looks delicious. Yeah. Look, they're still alive. Look at that one. Yeah, it's alive. Look, look hey, that one's getting away right there. Yeah, I'm proud. Look at that's that. That's eating. Oh, you look at this one. Look at that. Okay. Oh, wow. This is delicious. That looks, that look, yeah, it looks delicious. Oh, yeah. We yeah, we'll make it for right chicken. Mm. Like a fried chicken. Like a fried chicken. <laughs> well, this is the last day in the Philippines. We're heading to actually we're heading to the uh, Manila Airport right now, the uh, Aquino National Airport. 
and uh, I didn't videotape a lot. I know I could have, I guess I, I'm not a vlogger. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't make any money off this. Not one penny have I ever tried to make. I, this is, uh, it started off as a video of, you know, uh, bringing you along with my journey. But sometimes I get into the enjoying of the journey that I don't bust out my phone. I don't start recording. I don't, you know, make a video. So it's just, this, uh, this video is just pieces and pieces of a little bit of the, the good time I had out here in the Philippines. I hope you did enjoy what I had, what I put up here. And I hope uh, you join me on my next Philippine adventure, maybe next year or the year after. But I shall return. I shall return. All right, we're over here at the Shell, getting enough gas and make it to the airport. All right, y'all have a good day.